Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence, culture scarps tracking. And even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times, as we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. The exact structure of Nigus' diversified approach to livelihoods not only provides of the community. Downing to this of the balance between agriculture and animal husbandry showcases the resourcefulness of the Bakanjo in navigating the challenges of their environment. Hunting, a traditional practice among the Bakanjo, holds cultural and practical significance. While it serves as a recreational sport, it is primarily a vital source of food for the community. Skilled hunters on adaptability of the importance bone and prowess, including spears and adaptabilis, and arrows, and traps. The conjo, in utilizing their natural surroundings. Organized hunting troops, consisting of up to 30 to 60 people, highlight the communal aspect of the conjo society. Rules and regulations governing hunting expeditions as well as the equitable sharing of meat, demonstrate the importance of community cohesion. The practice of offering supplications and sacrifices to bamboo section between the Bokanjo and their rent, the constructual vice of tradition and practicality in their hunting rituals. The Bakanjo's unique system of secret communication through whistling, passed down from father to son, adds another layer to their cultural tapestry. This method, deeply penetrating and yet peculiar to the Bakanjo, served practical purposes during activities like hunting enabling them to convey messages across considerable distance. The codification vacation method, conjo, conjo, modernization and education, certain cultural practices and beliefs are undergoing transformations or fading away. The influence of education alongside changing societal norms and external factors like the risk of hiv infection has led to the decline of some rituals such as the Olhasa ceremony. However, the resilience of certain traditions among the Bakanjo reflect about changes in certain and certain modernization and undoubtedly to the culture. The decline of rituals like Ohasa, influenced by concerns such as HIV infection, showcases the nuanced impact of external forces on deeply ingrained traditions. The survival of unique forms of communication, such as the father to son whistling, amidst the influx of modern influences, highlights the community's commitment to preserving elements of their cultural heritage. Agricultural practices, agricultural practices, agricultural circumstances while preserving the essence of their cultural identity speaks to the resilience and vibrancy of this community. As the Bakanjo navigate the complexities of the modern world, their cultural tapestry 
continues to be a testament to the rich and dynamic heritage of a people shaped by the mountains and traditions that define them. The elaborate rituals associated with hunter reflect not only of dogs, the use of sophistication of them, though there are else bad of hunting techniques, the communal aspect of hunting troops, governed by rules and rituals, emphasizes the collective effort in securing food for the community. The spiritual dimension, including offerings and protective measures against angry spirits, adds a layer of reverence to this age-old practice. The Bakanjo's agricultural practices also embody a harmonious relation of crops such as matok, yams, the Kanutidionomic Kanutis Landscapes The coexistence of agriculture and animal husbandry underscores the diversified livelihood strategies adopted by the Bakanjo, contributing to the resilience of their community. The practice of early marriage and intricate marriage customs provides a glimpse into the social fabric of Bakanjo society. While some traditions, like the exchange of gifts to signify interest in a newborn girl, obligations as a rice negosto subpatched, and the rare occurrence of divorce, reveal the importance placed on societal norms and family structures within the Bakanjo community. Education and modernization have undoubtedly influenced certain aspects of Bakanjo culture, contributing to shifts in practices like Ohaisa and altering traditional communication methods. However, the enduring presence of age-old customs, the continued reverence for spiritual beings, and the preservation of the current change, the Bakanjo people present a captivating cultural narrative shaped by the interplay of agriculture, animal husbandry, hunting traditions, spiritual beliefs, and social customs. Their ability to adapt to external influences while preserving core elements of their identity highlights the dynamic nature of their cultural heritage. As the Bakanjo navigate the challenges of a changing world, their rich tapestry is strained in the mountainous terraca, Responsible tourism, emphasizing the importance of respectful engagement with local communities. The Bakanzo Culture Adventure is designed not only to offer a cultural exchange, but to foster a mutual understanding that transcends cultural boundaries. Travelers become contributors to the socio-economic fabric of the Bakanzo community. The adventure unsapes and the Renzori ranges. The adventure unfolds as a visual symphony. The The essence of Uganda's diverse terrains. Each snapshot becomes a testament to the intrinsic connection between cultural heritage and the natural environment. In conclusion, the Bakanzo culture adventure emerges as an immersive and transformative experience. It transcends the conventional boundaries of tourism, inviting travelers to not only explore the richness of a conservation of agricultural wonders, pomojative literature, 
Parallelers. Journey that resonates with the spirit of responsible exploration and cultural appreciation. The Bikanjo and Bamba, both Bantu groups, are believed to share a common origin with other Bantu communities. The Bakanjo predominantly inhabit the district of Kasiz, outnumbering the Bambui in the Renzori region. The Kanjo are often described as short and stout. According to Lejo, once resided on Mount Elgin East to Buganda. During Uganda, the Kanjo chose to continue and establish themselves in the western highlands of Mount Renzori, a climate reminiscent of Mount Elgin. This migration is said to have occurred around A.D. 